all well and welcome back to the channel. Today we're having a bit of a discussion about film exposure and what is right and what isn't or what you prefer and what you don't prefer. So this basically comes to me, I was looking at my sort of film drawer that I've got in my office and I've got some really expired, how long, when was this expired? Uh, 2001 um, Fuji Color Super HG 1600 in 24. So I've done that and then I also had a exposed roll that I need to get done of Portra 800. Uh, and of course that's 36 exposures. And that got me neatly onto the discussion about do you like 36 exposures or do you like 24 exposures? Now I often find myself in the category of sort of switching, like being basically either on the fence about it or really going hard for one or the other depending on the situation. I obviously have been doing a lot of bulk loading uh, recently with uh, Fobapan 400, which I'll put a video up about, about all of that. Um, and obviously, when you're bulk, bulk loading, you can make your own exposures. You can do, you know, 28, you can do 24, you can do 20, you can do 10, you can do 40. It's, you know, it's entirely up to you. Or you can choose the standard 36 exposures. I actually split my five, so I did two and two. Um, I know it's not split, but, you know, can't, can't do half a roll, can we? So I did two canisters of 30 uh, six exposures and two canisters of 24 and I went out and just like sort of married on my merry old way taking this this and that and Do you know what for the first time in a very long time? I felt that my rolls of 36 exposure were too long. I Found that I was shooting in a way that I really wanted to have the photos Maybe that's just me being you know, really enthusiastic about film photography again and just wanting to see the, the photos as, as soon as possible. Um, which really sometimes film photography isn't all about, it depends what your perspectives are on it. But I just found that if I wanted to either go to a place and take some photos, so I want to go from A to B and take a set of photos along the way, 36 exposures just seemed too much. I always had about I'd say, you know, like 12 images left on a roll. So it wasn't the job that I could literally just go and say, right, do you know what, uh, I'm just going to go, you know, shoot the cat, shoot the dog or whatever uh, on film, not literally, come on. And, you know, then uh, that roll's done and I can do it. You know, 12 frames is a lot of frames to waste. So I thought, do you know what, I'm uh, going to see what I'm like with 24 frames or 24 exposures, shall I say. And do you know what? For me, I found that to be such a sweet spot. I can go from A to B, take photos in between, and still have enough to get to the actual destination that I'm heading to, take a load of photos, and maybe have maybe two or three, you know, frames left to, to take on the way back. And I love it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm really curious of what you guys are thinking. Do you really enjoy shooting 36 frames? Does it take you a really long time to have one roll in your camera? Do you like it that you it takes a really long time for you to shoot a roll? Or are you a bit like me where 36 frames just, for some reason, just isn't cutting it. It's just a little bit too long for your, you know, the how the way you shoot or the way you want to shoot or what, depending on what you're shooting. Um, also, you know, like now, I'm just doing this for a hobby. I really enjoy it. I'm out shooting various bits and pieces throughout the day. If you're actually a photographer, and yes, this is going to sound hilarious now in the digital age. That is getting, you know, commissioned because of your film work, right? That actually happens again now. Who, who would have thought I'd be saying that in 2024? I think 24 frames is a really good amount because you're able to get, like with models, for, for instance, you're able to get quite a good number of shots and it's quite a, it's a much quicker turnaround than having 36 frames, especially if you're home developing, you're home scanning, you know, 36 frames compared to 24. For my setup, I'm shooting a uh, on a um, can shooting. I'm scanning on a uh, Canascan uh, 9000F Mark II. Um, I'm scanning, um, depending on the job, but say we're scanning at 4,800 DPI because I just want to make sure it's the best quality possible for my scanner that I've got. You know, that's probably taking around, I would say, 
half an hour to do a roll of 24 and you're probably talking towards nearly an hour you know on that top end for, for 36 that's a lot when you're trying to you know you've got to when you want to do a, a turnaround for somebody I understand that you know that is a very you know niche brief and a lot of us are shooting film for our own enjoyment you know and we can take as long uh, as we need to um, but it just goes to show that you know cutting down those frames really does help in the like, long scheme of things you know developing scanning you know and then like creating your work afterwards you know archiving you know it there's a there's a lot at play and i know you can probably say that for about digital photography as well but i just thought you know this would be quite an interesting subject that i thought i'll bring up to the channel see what you guys think you know do you really like shooting 36 exposures do you love shooting 24 or do you go for something in between you know let me know down in the comments below i really want to have a good discussion about this uh, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've shown uh, all these videos lately. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.